Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is smash that like button like it's your Alabama cousin, so it reaches a wider audience. And now on with the memes. Number one, if the Democrats lose the presidential election, I'm making this video before it, then it's gotta be because instead of helping Americans hit by hurricanes, they were spending money on migrants and preventing Americans from helping each other, because it would make FEMA look incompetent. Here's how the government would have helped the people of North Carolina if it could have. Moving on, a study finds that poorer men like bigger mommy milkers, while wealthier men prefer them smaller. By that logic, PDF files should all be billionaires. I think it's because richer men can afford to date much younger women and nothing more than that. You don't have to be Freud to figure this out. Smart men are like Butcher, they understand that big naturals get saggy, but bees are perky for life. Yes, perky is better than size. You don't want them to sag down sweeping the floor. Number three, New Zealand's population is now just 55.9% European and white. And the whites will be a minority by 2028. That's even faster than Canada will get there. Governments are doing this because of wealth inequality. They're importing people from countries with higher wealth inequality where the people don't riot and revolt against the rich. They want the majority of people to be just docile in the West as AI takes most of the jobs and people become increasingly poor and homeless. Up next, Sarah says that if women ran the world, we would have world peace. That's highly unlikely, because female rulers have always started more wars than their male counterparts. If women ran the world, women would start World War III over an argument over a purse, and it would be mostly men that would pay the ultimate price of that war with their lives. After all, women see us as disposable. Women think peace can be achieved by wiping out the people they disagree with. Just look at the woke feminists on the left trying to do that by canceling everybody. Number five, this woman pays her tween son to take her on dates, and she says it's good parenting. She's just turning her own son into an incel by teaching him how to treat women. This is a dating ad so that mom can find a new dad so that prospective suitors think that she's a good mother and her son was well behaved. But I feel sorry for this kid because we all know that big things are coming for him later in life. Moving on, Gen Z job applicants won't even apply to get a job if the salary is enlisted and now UK companies will be adding pay ranges by 2026. With the cost of living being as high as it is, job applicants don't even want to bother unless they get properly compensated. But why does it take two years to add the pay ranges to their job listings? Looks like companies want to continue shortchanging people on pay for at least the next couple of years. If they don't list the pay, I assume that it sucks. Number seven, this is what gender discrimination looks like. If men were held to the same criminal standards as women, seven out of ten male inmates would be released. This is from the British Ministry of Justice. All that talk about male privilege is just to distract you from male discrimination. If I ever stand trial in a criminal case, the first thing I'm doing is identifying as a woman. So wish me luck. Up next, this is Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris Jackson. But I don't think she's really his biological daughter because he was clearly whiter than her. Although she keeps telling everyone that she's black. Maybe she just wants to ride the victim mentality roller coaster to success. She's also made a name for herself as a model. Just look at how disturbing this picture is. I don't know if I should cry for that kid or be scared for her. Like a PDF files child beard or something. Number 9, here's how more men than ever are experiencing domestic abuse these days. They get attacked by women and the cops arrest them regardless of circumstances in Western countries. Going your own way and not living with a woman is not just a choice to improve your life. But these days it's a choice to ensure you won't end up in prison for life. For something you didn't even do. You probably think a guy might as well fight back then. If he does, then his sense will easily double or triple. Moving on, women in South Korea are also going their own way and have stopped giving birth because society doesn't respect them and sees them as worthless. Their fertility rate is the lowest in the world and dropped 8 more percent in 2023. In 100 years if this continues, the population might only be 2 or 3 percent of what it is today. These women would rather end humanity rather than being told they can't ride the rooster roller coaster. Number 11, do Zoomer girls know what they're going to look like when they get older? They're going to look like old New York subway cars covered in bad graffiti. Either that or an old beat up handbag. I wouldn't even go near women over 40, and women like this one are delusional thinking that they're sexy even after they're senior citizens. But it doesn't matter, because the only person that will see those tats in the future will be their cats. 
Up next is Faye, and she says that whenever an ugly guy likes her on Hinge, she feels like she's been sexually assaulted. You just know that women would ban all ugly men from their sight if they could. They probably only want to keep 10% of us around for breeding. Unfortunately for them, they need us to keep civilization humming. Or they would have done that a long time ago. The only thing unattractive men are useful for is the free source of attention and his emotional tampons. Number 13, this woman says she was shocked when she found out that her dad wasn't her biological father. But what was even more shocking is that she found her new half-brother sexually attractive. Women have a one-track mind, and yet they want us to think that we're the ones that think about sex all the time. Looks like there's a lot of Lannister blood in that for all the fans of Game of Thrones out there. Moving on, I know this is from a while back, but you just need to understand that America hates its middle class. They only want poor underclasses that they can control. And they're doing that by bringing in the third world into America. Also, most of the people that called in for the $750 hurricane assistance aren't even getting it. Because they have to fill out online forums. Do you think that the migrants have to fill out any forms to get their money? Forget about it. Number 15 is this crazy story about how automated speed cameras are racist. Because they affect black and brown drivers the most. These cameras are colorblind, yet the media still makes it all about color. People on the left just want to be free from consequences. Is it the camera's fault that people of color are more likely to speed and less likely to have insurance? Maybe we should call them racist and then maybe cities would get rid of them. The cameras and not the people disproportionately affected by them. Up next, why is Sydney Sweeney selling soap? Does the prime incel market out there refuse to take a bath or something? These bars of soap probably cost $15 and guys are buying them thinking that they will satisfy Sweeney's personality or something. Then again, she looks like she's wearing typical colors worn by an Indian woman. Maybe it's for Indian simps. Number 17, Sophie Lewis says, We can't have a feminist future without abolishing the family. Well, men can play that game too. We can use surrogacy to raise our own children without women. We can finally cut the feminist cancer out of the family and let them go love their cats. Women like this are so smug. What they don't realize is that without men having authority over their own families, men won't be incentivized to produce the surplus wealth that makes feminism possible in the first place. Moving on is an old article from almost 10 years ago now that was recently rediscovered, saying that unattractive men are not viewed as dating material by women no matter how great their personalities are. This is before there even was an incel movement, and when they used to be called true force loneliness guys. If you want women to genuinely want you sexually, then you have to be attractive. If you want them to marry you, then you need to provide the money. Number 19, Brian Johnson shared this collage of his transformation from 2018 to 2024. He spends $2 million a year to look younger and he ends up looking older. So if you want to spend $2 million a year and remove all the joy from life, you too can look like a lesbian. Where do I sign up? He recently made a video to fix his face and it doesn't actually make him look all that much better. I like how his hair color also changed from blonde, redhead, to eventually brunette. Up next, this woman says that many jobs are boys clubs, but women will face misogyny and discrimination and won't get those jobs, but they would actually be happy to do them. And wokeness gives her a list of jobs that women want, including construction workers, garbage men, and iron workers. But there's nothing stopping women from entering those fields. But they won't because women don't like dirty and dangerous jobs. For most of them, it goes against their nature. They want to be safe and comfortable. Number 21, at the end of Avengers Endgame, Black Widow throws herself off a cliff, so she doesn't have to take part in the girl power scene. If you ask me, Bob Iger should have been the one thrown off the cliff for trying to make the MCU. This scene at the end of Endgame was superfluous, an absolute cringe, and never should have happened. If Scarlett Johansson was smart, she wouldn't have agreed to make the Black Widow prequels film after her character was already dead. Moving on, what a sad state of affairs. Looks like the woke mind virus is messing up Mexico as well. Looks to me like the new normal is women that look like Mickey Mouse covered in tattoos looking sort of like Harley Quinn. We all know that tattoos usually mean daddy issues, but to be honest, she looks a lot happier in the photo on the right though. Those are also probably her dirty ass nails in the picture as well. Number 23, Japanese researchers use soybean compound to turn male fish into female fish. So the soy boy meme explains everything. Soy is estrogenic, and this has also been known forever. And it's hidden in many products, and you're probably getting it eating out at restaurants or similar compounds when you drink from plastic water bottles. Here's a picture of Alex Jones hearing this news, and he's having a hard time holding in his excitement. Up next, the studio knew that Joker 2 was going to be bad. 
so they declined to test screen the film with audiences before the film was ever complete. They knew it was going to fail. I'm just going to pretend like this film never existed. They don't want it to succeed because they were shocked at how much young men identify with Arthur in the first one. And they couldn't have men having a hero to unite around. Number 25 and the last one, imagine having to be with one of these four women. Imagine if somebody put a boomstick to your head and forced you to be with one. It's a touchy choice. Either the bottom left with the lights off or just pull the trigger already for a quick death. Then again, there's so many thirsty simps out there these days that they'll say put away that long distance hole puncher because I'll put my schwing schwing in the holes of all four of these so-called ladies. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making it, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day and cheers.